Welcome once again to this online class. In this video, we shall discuss about a new chapter that is Antarctica. This is the last chapter in the syllabus and after this we need to revise and prepare for your final examination. So when you talk about Antarctica, the location of Antarctica is located in the South Pole that is beyond Antarctic Circle. All right. So let us first discuss discovery of Antarctica, how Antarctica was discovered. Actually the history of Antarctica emerges from early western theories of vast continent known as Terra Australis. So in the western theories of ancient history it was also known as a continent of Terra Australis which has believed that this continent was present or located in the far south of the globe. The term Antarctica is referred to the opposite of Arctic Circle. So Arctic Circle is in North Pole side and Antarctic Circle is in South Pole. So the term was coined that means the Antarctica term was coined by Marinus of Tyre in the second century which is the meaning the opposite of Arctic Circle. So the idea, the clue that the expeditions or the people who discovered Cape, the roundup of Cape of Good Hope and Cape Horn in the 15th and 16th century. That means Cape of Good Hope is the tip of South Africa and Cape Horn is in the South America, just extremely tip of South America. So these two places gave an idea that there would be any other land connected to this uh, land. So in the 15th and 16th century proved that Terra Australis incognita that is unknown southern land existed and was a continent in its own right. So the round up shape of this Cape of Good Hope and Cape Horn. So that gave an idea that there is some landforms which is connected to these two uh, areas. In 1773 James Cook who discovered Australia, the continent of Australia crossed the latitude of 67 degree 15 minutes south along the Antarctica circle for the first time. So he was the first person to cross this Antarctic circle that is 66 uh, and half degrees south but he crossed beyond that that is 67 degree 15 minutes south and he discovered many islands nearby Antarctica but he could not catch his sight of Antarctica that means he could not discover this but nearby area he could discover. Then in 1820 several expeditions means many expeditions claimed to have been the first to have discovered or seen Antarctica. There are many expeditions, many explorers who were in search of new lands with the very first being the Russian expeditions led by Fabian Gottlieb von Willingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev. So they, they were the two persons who claimed that it, they discovered Antarctica first. And the first Norwegian expedition to Antarctica was led by Captain Carl Anton Larsen in 1892. So in 1820 the Russian expeditions claimed that they discovered and in 1892 that is the Norwegian that means from uh, Norway all this the European countries. 
So during the expedition, he was the first to discover fossils in Antarctica. Fossil means the remainings of the plants and animals for which he received the back grant from Royal Geographical Society. Okay, so as he discovered fossils in Antarctica, he was given reward and received the back grant from the Royal Geographical Society. And in his name, given that is Larson Ice Shelf was named after him. Then once the North Pole was discovered, so once the North Pole was discovered, the explorer were having more curiosity to go opposite of the North Pole. So in 1909, North Pole was discovered and several expeditions attempted to reach the South Pole. There was so much curiosity or they were in search of the expensive uh, minerals, in search of many um, valuable minerals. So mainly the Europeans who got spread different parts of the world and from there only the discovery of different islands and different continents started. Many resulted injury. So as they tried to discover Antarctica, many got injured, many died. Finally, a Norwegian explorer, that means from the Norway, Roald Amundsen with his team reached the South Pole on December 14, 1911, following a dramatic race with the Englishman Robert Falcon Scott. So they were having the race of these two persons, that is from Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen and then Englishman from England, Robert Falcon Scott. So they were having the race to go with, uh, to explore South Pole. The British National Antarctica Expedition led by Robert Falcon Scott came to the within 857 kilometer of the South Pole but could not make it before Roald Amundsen. So he came within 50, uh, 857 kilometer of the South Pole. He could not uh, make it possible to reach there but Roald Amundsen was the first person to who reached that area. Scott's party died on the return journey after being delayed by a series of accidents and bad weather. So the Scott's team, the, both of the teams were having that dramatic race. So what happened while they were returning, they died. So there is so many stories or so many uh, facts that is there in discovery of Antarctica. So with these persons, a, a station was named. These two of them, as they reached and uh, to South Pole area, the name or the station was named after them. The Amundsen Scott South Pole station was later named after them. These two, the Roald Amundsen and this uh, Robert Scott. So. After discovery of Antarctica, there was a treaty signed by many countries, okay, because Antarctica is a place where the ice, it is covered with ice sheet. So the mining or any other uh, activities are restricted in this area. So there was treaty, the objectives or the laws and order were uh, implemented not to uh, do any activities in this area. So the Antarctic Treaty was signed in 1959 by 12 countries. Later many other countries joined it. So many of initially in 1959 12 countries signed the treaty and later many of the countries as India also has joined. So there are special features of the treaty so which all the activities cannot be done. Actually in uh, Antarctica, the space uh, satellite stations are there, but all other activities cannot be done. Like the first one is, it prohibits military activities, the training of military activities or 
the any other explosions or any other uh, test is prohibited means not permitted then it prohibits mining mining cannot be done there then it prohibits nuclear explosions and nuclear waste disposal the testing of nuclear explosions or the waste of nuclear waste cannot be disposed there it prohibits then it supports scientific research and protects the continent's ecozone so the scientific research centers are there and from there the satellites are being operated and it is having uh, the role to protect the continent's ozone all right so expeditions to antarctica there are some few uh, points regarding this the first one is ongoing experiments are being conducted by more than 4000 scientists from different countries like usa russia india france uk australia argentina and south africa so many research are taken uh, in this area more than 4000 scientists were involved they conducted and they studied about antarctica they have set up their research stations in antarctica the people residing in these stations are the only temporary inhabitants of this continent so all these countries which are the part of uh, antarctica have signed and they have set up their research stations in antarctica and the people who are staying they are not permanent member of that area or they cannot stay permanently they are only the temporary inhabitants of this continent all right so this was the brief uh, introduction of discovery of antarctica uh, read properly and understand the concept the terms are a bit difficult the names of the explorers are a bit difficult learn it and um, in the next video we shall learn about antarctica as a continent we shall learn about the uh, locations extent and many more things thank you for watching this video so patiently have a nice day god bless you